in his career, he's made 75 regular season starts, 30 wins, and 20 losses. 2 2 coming to Jeanette. And he hits a ground ball to short, might be two. Rosario to McNeil and on to first, just in time to get Jeanette. Side retired. See if the Reds challenge the call at first. Ben May called Jeanette out. And well, they should because yes. he was safe. And the call is overturned as you would expect. One two to Suarez. And it, oh. he went around. I thought I caught the corner. Ben May punches out Suarez and Syndergaard will get the strike out that way. He started 14 times. Cincinnati has lost 13 of those 14 starts. It's been a tough go for Bailey this year. And he is running, and Wilmer flares one the other way for a base hit, and that'll bring in the game's first run. Rosario scores, McNeil goes to third, three straight hits to start at the bottom of the first. Wilmer has a birthday RBI, and the Mets have a 1 0 lead. Frazier, 1 for 13 off the disabled list. He takes one the other way for a base hit, and that'll play to run. McNeil comes in to score the fourth hit of the inning. As Frazier goes after the first one and takes it the other way, drives in a run against his original team, and the Mets have a 2 0 lead. Toward the middle of the diamond, Jeanette can't get it cleanly, and so they get just the one out as a Met in yesterday's game. And he pulls one down to third, and it goes right by Suarez into left field. That'll bring in Flores with the third run of the inning. Nimmo goes to third. Austin Jackson. With an RBI single, and the Mets have a three-nothing first-inning lead. The brave play would be to stay in front of this and just block it with your body, but he kind of olayed it, and the ball went into the left field. The Mets had been 0 for their last 29 with two outs and runners in scoring position before that base hit by Jackson. One-two coming, and he struck him out. Second straight strikeout for Syndergaard as he gets Mason Williams one out in the second. Changing the game, Noah. Grounded to the right side. McNeil giving ground, gets to it, and throws on target to get Bailey. Nice play by McNeil to end the inning. One two coming to McNeil. And he chops one over the mound. Peraza comes to the right side and throws him out. One two coming. And Suarez takes on the inside corner strike three call got him looking at a changeup. Suarez strikes out for the second time. Single here could play two. And Nemo grounds one down to Votto. And now breaking for the plate is Frazier. Votto's throw uh, is uh, Flores and Votto's throw gets Wilmer by a healthy margin. I don't know what Wilmer was thinking there. He went halfway down the line and then broke late. You know, it's, it's not so bad. You can make it to the night. Five ball hit out to right, and uh, Nimmo comes on to get it a quick inning for Syndergaard. Eddie, thanks so much. And uh, again, that phone number 631 444 6944. This man needs a kidney. Let's get him one, okay? Yeah. Well, thank you very and, much. And gentlemen. I think we have some video of you throwing out the first. Oh, pitch. I, I, I don't I don't think I want to see that. That was the best part of my act. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> the great Ed Crane Pool joining us. 17 years old. Ploiecki drives one to deep left field. Back goes Tucker to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. Kevin Ploiecki with his third home run of the season. And the Mets now have a 4 0 lead. Well, Ploiecki had been hitless in his last 12 at bats, but he got all of that. Syndergaard drives one into center for a base hit. Noah's got his fourth hit of the season. McNeil starts and stops and Flores lines one in the left for another base hit. That'll bring in Rosario. Wilmer's three for three on his birthday, his second RBI, and it's 5-0 New York. Wandy Peralta in. Frazier skies one to left center. And Hamilton scurries over. Mike Trout now apparently hurt worse than we thought. There's a nice curveball to strike out Lorenzen. And it's strikeout number four for Syndergaard. 0 oh, 2 to Peraza. And the curveball half swing. He went around strike three. Side retired. Throws between 95 and 98. He made his uh, debut last year in relief a couple of times. 
Lewecki hits one toward the middle, but Jeanette played perfectly. The flip to Peraza and the low throw handled by Votto. He would have pulled everything. Of course he would have. <laughs> Swing and a miss, got him with a changeup. Syndergaard has a sixth strikeout of the night. The big red machine here. That slug to deep right field, right down the line, headed toward the second deck, and it's out of here. Jeff McNeil crushes one way back in the Coca Cola corner for his second big league home run and his first at City Field. Well, that was the swing that hit him 19 home runs in the minor leagues. He got every bit of that. And that's lined to center. Coming on is Jackson off to play it on the hop. Coming home to score is Tucker and everybody else moves up a base Hamilton safe at second and with the score of six to one Noel will leave after six in the third and Bobby Wall will come on it really leaves a stain on your night third outing for Bobby Wall. And he walked him to force in a run. So Votto draws his 86th walk of the year. Irvin comes in to score the second run of the inning. Now it's six to two, and the Reds will get the tying run to the plate with Scooter Jeanette coming up. Three two, and he struck him out. Came up and in with a fastball to get Jeanette. Got four outs in Saturday's game. The Zellman. 50th game. Very economical. 11 pitches to get four outs. That's a sawed off shot at the shallow left beyond Rosario for a base hit. Hamilton is in. Peraza scores as well. A soft two run single for Eugenio Suarez. And the Met lead has been trimmed to six to four. And he struck him out with a breaking ball. Well, there's the bottom down curve you asked for. And chases one for strike three. First time they got Bruce. Philip Irvin up for the second time. Flies one out to right. And Robert Gazelman has a very easy inning. He throws just four pitches to get the Reds out one, two, three. Jerry Blevins for the save opportunity, looking for his first save of the year. Curveball bounce weakly down to first. Flores takes it himself, and the ball game is over. Jerry Blevins picks up his first save of the year on a night that the Mets bang out 16 hits. Wilmer Flores with a three hit night on his birthday. Kevin Pulecki and Jeff McNeil go deep. And the Mets take the opening game of the series from the Reds 6 to 4. And don't forget uh, Austin Jackson with three hits also.